Well, uh, hello again. A new project for today. You see, I bought me a, a dash camera. It's uh, 7 Ome or something anyway. It's a good camera and it's uh, recording very nice. It's starting when uh, the car is on. But I found pretty annoying to have these wires going down here. And of course it's, it can be a proper or better way to do all the wirings around here down to, to, to a power box somewhere through a fuse. But I got something else in my mind, you see? I have these uh, lights, the roof lights here and uh, what I'm intending to do is to find a 12 volts uh, on this board and then I'll open one of these one of these adapters because I have plenty of them and I'll try to find uh, a small one to have a proper 5 volts, 12 volts to 5 volts uh, converter so all the wires will go up like this and will be covered with the plastics and stuffs and uh, after, uh, afterwards I don't uh, care about uh, these things anymore. The single point is to find the proper, the proper 12 volts here and uh, to have that 5 volts adapter. Oh yeah, so uh, I could I could find um, 12 volts here. So one is right here. It's Earth. We see it B, and we have a 12 volts here. But the point is that this. Uh, 12 volts from the battery it's on all the time so if you take it the other way the camera will be on all the time and I may say this kind of uh, this kind of camera it's really drying the battery in a couple of days so um, it's not working the way I was thinking about but anyway as long as I open these things here and I have a long, a really long USB power cable, you see this? Then I realized that I can take it nice behind this plastic things here and down there all around the window. It can be even better. And I went down around the window and near the loudspeakers there that can be done even better but I'm really satisfied for now and behind that plastic thing and I'm going down here around the, the rubber from the door and down here we have this uh, thermic something anyway I don't know how to call it and the, I put the wire behind the plastic things there and finally it's going to the the same adapter like before and what's nice about let's say if I have the power on you heard that starts recording. so now the camera it's on if I turn the power off So the camera it's off. So the camera it's running only when the the ignition is on. You know the old classic ignition. And for now, I'm kind of disappointed because I said that uh, that's gonna solve this wire problem directly from here. But I'm really really satisfied about having all this uh, all this wire all around, and uh, it's easy to take it off and uh, doesn't bother me anymore okay so I think with a little bit of effort uh, this can go even better under the loudspeakers here 
but I just let it be. It's much better than hanging around here in the middle of a console. So, behind here, on here, on here, you see the wire, it's right here, doesn't bother me. And that's the rubber door here. Okay, now it's better. And down, down here. Okay, I can even take it better through this plastic. Uh-huh, there we are. Voila! You see? And then I can put the this one back and it's perfect. And it goes right there. Like I said, it doesn't bother me. Okay, here we go. It's even better. You don't even feel it. And now the camera is working only when the ignition is on. So I don't care anymore about saving the battery or something. Anyway, it's a very nice camera. I really recommend it. Uh, it's nice uh, and it's easy to install and plenty of uh, capabilities and that's it for today. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.